Hi everybody, after a very successful first mission, now everybody's going to die. <laughs> That's what I expect, it's XCOM. Um, it's our first abduction mission, I have an assault, a sniper, a uh, rookie, and uh, the other class. Assault support. That guy. And I color coat my classes, just so you know, so my snipers are always in black, my assaults are always in red. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Um, I do that five. because I Strike want the green light for it to be visually automatic to tell what abilities they're going to have. There's lots of basics I need to talk about in this game. I'm just having a quick look around for meld. I need to talk about meld. This is a kind of a bad starting position, so I'm just going to dash everybody into cover. There's not great cover here. I would like my sniper to be there. But she'll move last. So I want to talk about the classes. First of all, ooh, you can get to... Affirmative. Further ahead, cover. Look sharp, enemies roll. Oh, and you've triggered aliens already. What a good way to start. Good job, assault. <laughs> You're doing your job. Um, no, now I don't want you there. It's not the best cover. Oh, this is kind of junk. Can you see somebody? No, that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably just gonna get shot up this first round. Well, I definitely still want you Move. there, because it's high cover and it's closer and you still can't see anybody. Well, that's, that's funny. Can you dash to somebody someplace closer and safe? No. Maybe there would be safe, but you can't reach that fucking land. So, okay, so there are five classes? Four classes and then mechs? We're not gonna talk about mechs yet. Alright, you... I want to use a smoke grenade. I do not utilize my smoke grenades enough. Um, so this is... Wow, okay, I'll wait. Not explaining anything. No, don't hunker down. I want to... Uh, that was the most amazing ever. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. You go there. Copy. Moving on target. Um, wow. That was just dumb. So you're hunkering, th that's fine. This means it's not doing anything. You can't shoot anybody because you can't see anybody. So I guess you'll hunker down as well? This all seems, this all seems really ridiculous. <sighs> and you can shoot somebody, but you have a shotgun which has terrible accuracy at this range. Okay, so classes. <laughs> the four main classes are assault, support, sniper, and heavy. Heavies are the ones I don't have. It, yeah, so the next guy who levels up will become heavy. Um, rookies don't have classes. You have to level up once before you get a class. So the benefit of oh, there's meld over here. Okay, I'm not too worried about the meld right now. I know I need to worry about meld. We'll worry about it later. I want you to be here. Think. Let me move other people first, though. Like my support guy who was supposed to throw a smoke grenade. Let's move you. Yeah, to there. Thanks. <laughs> Let me click the button twice. Um, so. Oh, I triggered two more? They're hiding behind the truck. Well, I'm glad I triggered them now. Oh. Okay, he's a good target. Boy, I wish I, they were within grenade range. Ooh, not a great target, though. Only 44% accuracy. Ugh. Oh. Nobody got him! Wow! Okay, so <laughs> the classes. Uh, classes determine what weapons you can use, and they also give you special abilities. You just need to dash to some place, but you don't have a good place to dash to. And you are kind of slow. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, so, the special ability that the assault starts with is run and gun. And that lets him move twice and then shoot. Instead of move once and take an action, you can move twice and then shoot. Or overwatch, okay, move twice and then overwatch, which is a great way That's to what start we're as well. Oh, I see a melt, but I don't actually care. Um, assaults use shotguns, which are pretty low accuracy at long range. Uh, I feel like, wow, 72% chance to kill that guy. Um, I feel like assaults are the best class in the early game, so he's my best guy right now. That my one assault. That's my, that's my preference, anyway. I think I want you to stand there now. That's really good cover from everything. Um, snipers, their ability, they start with his headshot, which increases critical hit. It's not murder. actually important. The important thing is they, they use sniper rifles, which have crazy good accuracy. Um, but a uh, sniper rifle, you can't shoot it after moving. You can either move or shoot. 
or uh, move or Overwatch. Shooting and Overwatching are pretty interchangeable. I think that's your best position right now. Uh, unless there's someplace relevant you could go and then Overwatch. You seem to have very low movement, actually. This is my rookie. Roger, um, I picked out of all my rookies the one with, that had the best will, power, and aim, which are the two stats you can see. But movement is a stat you can't see. The game doesn't tell you what a character's movement is. Who are you shooting at? My support? Ow. That's fine. As long as he doesn't panic. Oh, he was yelling about the car's about to explode. The, the alien shot the car, and now it's on fire. And so if he doesn't move, he's going to get exploded. <laughs> um, support? Yeah, yeah. Their, uh, the ability they start with is Smoke Grenade, which covers an area, and it uh, it get, basically gives that area extra cover, uh, less likely to get shot. Um, decreases the aim of anybody shooting at anybody in that cover, uh, in, in that area. It's not actually covered. I'm going to start with my sniper, um, and supports use regular guns, just assault rifles, whatever rookies start with. Uh, you can shoot at either of them, and neither one is a great shot. Where can my assault go? I am very... I'm paying a lot of attention to... Hello, I want to select my assault guy. My mouse is not... There we go, the UI. No, what the crap? <laughs> I was not selecting her. I was selecting this guy. Thanks. Uh, running gun has a cooldown, so we can't use it again for two turns. So He's actually in a really horrible position right now. Um, could you see something if you move to there? Yes, who is it? Okay. Uh, so I will use my sniper. Just deciding of all the, the four guys, <laughs> the four actions I get to take, which is the best one to take right now. So uh, normal shot has 25% critical hit. This is my sniper. The headshot would be up to 55%. And I'm going to take it. It has a cooldown, I think, of one turn. And there's no reason not to just use it all the time, <laughs> basically. Unless you're already flanking a guy and you already have your critical hit chance. Um, and of course you missed, which is fine. I think I want you to move to there. You have to move away from the car. And there's no place better to move and then shoot. Because this does give me high cover. But if he could easily move around here and then flank him. So it's not great. That means I might want to use a grenade. Um, the last class... Wow, I really might want to use a grenade. <laughs> Let's consider that after I use everybody else. Can you move to cover anywhere? There's cover there. Okay, it's <laughs> not good cover, but it's better than nothing. And uh, I want you to get a kill to get the experience. So, oh, but that's the guy. I'm not gonna. Sh <laughs> I want to shoot with my assault, please. Will do. So I'm not. If my assault misses, then she'll shoot that guy. If he hits, then she'll shoot the other one. Okay, 48% chance to hit. I don't actually know what the advantage of a shotgun is. It must be more damage than the assault rifles. Sacrifice accuracy for more damage. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, well, um, I think a shotgun might do up to five. And the normal assault rifle does up to four. I do know um, after you level up your weapons, uh, you don't level up shotguns all the way. Your assaults will be using assault rifles. Or, yeah, uh, <laughs> which makes sense. And I'm going to pull up this last guy with a grenade. We need to talk about grenades sometime as well. But for now, all you need to know is everybody starts with one grenade. <laughs> and um, guns do up to an amount of damage. Grenades always do an amount of damage. I had another really successful mission. I don't know how that happened. I'm, and I got both melds. Wow. Need to talk about melds. Need to talk about so many things. There's so much to this game. I love it so much. <laughs> It's just good stuff. Okay, more base building. That's what we're doing now. Um, we get to hopefully somebody levels up. I don't know. Let's find out. Hopefully my rookie leveled up. I want her to be better. Because she has good stats. The situation room. I need to go to the situation room. I'm busy. Um, yay! My rookie leveled up. I choose a heavy. Just what I wanted. Um, so that inherent, the ability that every heavy starts with is a rocket. I feel like heavies are the worst characters at the start of the game, but <laughs> at the end of the game, they're amazing. Except mechs kind of kind of step on their toes a little bit. And they use a different kind of gun that's, again, less accurate, but more more damaging. Um, the shotgun is less accurate at range 
heavy guns just look accurate all the time. Oh, wounded and out of action for seven days. Is that my support? Yeah, because he was shot. It's okay. Oh, and I got a medal. That was... Um, so meld was added into the enemy within expansion, and medals were as well, and I don't really know how to use them. <laughs> I mean, I have used them, they just, I just don't know. Um, it's urban combat badge, so I will do that. Now I feel like I should do it on camera. Um, yeah, we need to talk about what alien abduction yeah, missions do, so... Room. There were, yeah, you know, three missions to pick room. from last time, you might remember, and because I didn't pick the one in Europe, Panic levels have increased in Europe, and because I didn't pick the one in Africa, panic levels have increased in Africa. But I got 20 uh, we will or 200 uh, touch, credits, simoleons, whatever they're called, dollars. Commander, you can now honor our soldiers credits. by awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Yeah, good. <laughs> combat man. So I pick uh, an ability for it to give plus defense when in cover. That sounds good. Plus five aim against enemies in full cover. That sounds good. <laughs> Commander, to the situation. I'm very Commander defensive, so I'm going to pick the defense. And I'm always in cover, so that's just plus five defense. Basically plus five defense, unless I'm flanked. And I, I want to just give it to somebody. I'm going to give it to my assault. That makes sense. He'll be in cover and be... He'll he'll be you know getting shot at a lot. So there you go, plus five defense. So your defense increases. It's not damage that you take. It's, it's the accuracy of people shooting at you. So that means plus five defense means or plus five percent. Plus five. Yeah, plus five defense means uh, people shooting at you lose five accuracy or something like that. And I could rename it to plus five defense when in cover. Oh, we'll leave urban combat badge. That's fine. <laughs> and I um, color code my soldiers, so I also need to quickly, quickly my heavy you need to be in a different color. I know I need to go to the thing. Oh, also everybody. Um, so I want my heavies to be in blue. I'm not sure which blue. Probably 11. Ooh. It's a bit too dark. Probably 11. Commander to the no, we'll go with 21. Room. Okay. To the <laughs> no, that's too bright. Room. What am I talking about? Don't cancel both. You, you know, I need to keep you. You're very good. You have a lot of accuracy for a heavy. I gotta say, her aim is stat is really good. Um, I'm, I'm surprised she didn't end up being a uh, sniper. That's so dark, though. I, I care. I usually do this stuff off camera because I care so much about it. It's stupid. Okay. Um, we'll go with purple instead. <laughs> it looks nice. Um, do I need to go to the situation room? Okay, I can do that. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage, oh. so we should plan our deployments carefully. <sighs> So, these are the panic levels. Ah, these are the members, the, the, the nations involved in XCOM. The, these are the people that give me funding. But only if I give them satellite coverage. Uh, do I have a satellite? No, of course I don't have a satellite. Um, <laughs> that, but I'm building a satellite. So, I could build another one. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. Um, on normal, you start with a satellite available to launch. So I have a satellite uplink. Uh, uh, you can have two satellites for every satellite one. uplink you build. We'll that contact, but I, don't think I start with a satellite. Already. It's here in Nigeria because that's where my base is, I guess. Um, so I'm building another one. So it's a good thing I decided to build another one. So when you put a satellite in a country, it, panic levels go down. When a country reaches level 5, you're in danger of losing them. My priority in base building is not losing anybody. I want satellite coverage a lot. So number one priority. So I need to build more satellite uplinks. Unfortunately, I don't have enough engineers to build satellite uplinks. Uh, I need to, how do I get more engineers? Probably from missions. That'll be my best bet. How many engineers do I have? Where does it say? <laughs> What's uh, five engineers? Well, I'm gonna build another satellite. I have the money uh, because I want it available just in case. Okay, those are what I'm building, and I have lots of credits right now, but I don't know what I'm doing with it. Okay, let's look for another mission. <laughs> Scan for activity. This is just past time until the aliens do something. That's what this button does. And you know, all this stuff on my excavation is complete. That sounds amazing. Ooh, what did we finish here? Oh, I was going to turn down all my graphic settings. 
And I forgot. What well, is my research? We risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? Do, do you see what I mean about how cheesy the acting is? This is just not how people are. To our own. A highly concentrated uh, that makes me think the XCOM is run by aliens. Close range. They're just, they're just trying to act like human beings. Do you really think this is worth the risk? They're not quite there yet. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not it's understand? It's so melodramatic. If we can capture one of these so over the top. We may be able to communicate. And with the pauses and they make in it. the middle of find out what they every want. sentence. Where they're operating from. <laughs> that possibility so outweighs bad. all risks. <laughs> but it's it's part of the experience, you know. It's just, it's just safe enough for cheesy movie dialogue. And it's fine. I mean, we're just saving the world from aliens. <laughs> it's pretty cheesy. It. So it's part. It's part of the. It's, it's fun. All right. I'll speak <laughs> my number one complaint, but it's fine. I don't. I don't need to. <laughs> it's not. It's a small complaint. Okay, so that was. My research assignment was finished, and now I can build arc throwers. We'll talk about that next time. Wow, I can build a lot of things. I need to build alien containment. I might do that right away. It's good to have. Um, oh, I need to research arc throwers. 17 days. No, I'm not researching that. I'm going to research weapon fragments. I need to talk about those, too. I'm hard time grasping what it is that I'm going to build. I'm going to build. I'm going to even us. build lift. Why Let's do it. Oh, but it costs power, doesn't it? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Yep, I want to. Okay. <laughs> These first two layers, I just, I just want to build them as quickly as possible, I guess. Um, okay, back to scanning for activity. <laughs> the access list will be done in five days. Replicable fragment research. Ah, this is what I was waiting for. We're receiving a transmission from the council. Council of communication. Street. I have no idea. The council is very. Oh my, my guy recovered from his injuries. That's good. Time between activity. Okay, yeah, the mysterious council that is in charge of everything, and we never see their face because they're aliens. See, see, they purposely do this. To me. Okay. <laughs> I've uncovered an alien plot to disrupt the transportation network within a major Nigerian minute. If successful, this would lead to uh, major interruptions in the distribution of goods and services in the to the Yeah, kill the aliens. That's what I'm reading. But the reward is lots of money and panic reduction. How could I say no to that? And if I turn it down, probably the panic will go up. Sounds good to me. Everybody, this has been Par 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 I was looking at the purple and thinking, mm, purple. This has been, <laughs> this has been Bertrandor playing XCOM Enemy Within. Thanks for watching.